All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this video on uh, boosting your immune system. So you know, coming into this uh, uh, this uh, epidemic that's happening of uh, of the coronavirus, um, you gotta start preparing to uh, to boost your immune system, or you gotta start boosting your immune system before this thing is got of control, because this is gonna start. Uh, it's gonna get worse. All right, it's, it's going to get worse. And, uh, you know, like I did the other videos, uh, um, you know, uh, this is a, a, a weaponized thing made by the CDC. So we got to start uh, uh, boosting our immune system to, uh, to fight off this infection, to fight off this bacteria. This is the only way that you're going to be able to, uh, to uh, keep it at bay. You know, um, um, you're not, don't get now they have uh, they're gonna say take the vaccination which if you take the vaccination you're first of all I'm just gonna say you're an idiot because you you, you they're literally so this the CDC makes uh, the uh, the the uh, disease and then they create the vaccine this is it's a business this if you don't know this by now then I don't know what, what to tell you it's a business uh, keeping people sick is a business so they, they 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 created the they created the virus, and now they they they're, they're going to come out with a vaccine to uh to start uh injecting people with it, and if you take this vaccine you're 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 through it's over, so I'm just going to go over things that you can buy that you can do that you can start eating now if you want to, that's going to uh, boost your immune system it's going to uh, give your body a uh, the 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 weapons uh, needed to uh to fight off this this sickness you know so um i'll just go into things uh, some 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 items that i use uh so this is uh, uh, this is called candida support you know with with paul diarco oregano oil black walnut caprylic acid supports healthy balance of intestinal flora so this this uh it, it it's uh, it supports your your gut your gut microbiome and it, it detoxes your body from from uh, 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 um, from uh, uh, pathogens, from diseases, from sicknesses. It, it boosts your immune system, so it helps your body fight off infections and uh, and get rid of uh, uh, unwanted uh, things that's in in your in your body. So, um, and this is uh, another item that I that I have. Uh, uh, it's uh, Nutribi Nutribiotic Defense Plus, and this so all these are our natural, uh, our natural, uh, like uh, herbs, uh, natural herbs, natural roots, uh, different uh, extracts. You know, uh, mushrooms. It's got a ton of different uh, things. See uh, right here: grapefruit seed extract, astragalus root, reishi mushroom, echinacea ginger root maitake mushroom oregano grapefruit grapefruit uh shiitake mushroom uh yarrow so all these things uh, um, play a role in boosting your immune system um so these are our two items that that you you should you should get you know uh, you must get you know if if you if you uh want to keep your your you and your household uh, you know um, from getting sick from uh, you know preventing uh, uh, any uh, sicknesses from from coming in so uh, so that that's those those two things and now I'm just going to go into this is this uh, a website the candida diet which this has so much information there's uh, there's this this is what I this is what I uh, um, what I went through doing this doing this diet because there's a diet to to uh, to uh, you know, strengthening uh, your your immune system to, to uh, getting rid of all the junk that's in your body. Now, I'm not going to go into the diet. I'm I'm mainly going to go into uh, the antifungals, the 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 things that are going to strength that that are going to make your or your body stronger, your your immune system stronger, to uh, fight off infection. Because 80 percent, like I did in the other video, 80 percent of our immune system is in our gut. So what you eat is uh is going to uh, ultimately uh, make you uh, let your body uh, fight off this infection you know if you're eating uh, burgers and in and out and uh, uh, 
all this garbage food, you, you, your uh, you, your immune system is going to be trash. It's going to be garbage. You, you're gonna you're gonna get sick with the quickness. Um, but if you if you eat these foods right here, your body's going to be uh, top notch to to fight off uh, infections, to, to to fight off diseases. So uh, I'm just going to go into uh, some of these things. Coco so coconut oil. Coconut oil is a, a, a very good uh, 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 thing to use. So I'm just going to read it. Coconut oil is a potent candida killer and one of the most useful antifungals there is. It contains lauric acid and caprylic acid, which both help prevent candida overgrowth and strengthen your immune system. Coconut oil is very heat stable, so it's an ideal oil to use for frying and cooking. So I use coconut oil uh, a lot. I uh, whenever I cook, I either use coconut oil or uh, or hemp oil, um, olive oil too. Uh, if it's or it's got to be organic. If it's in your budget, get uh, organic. Uh, I know uh, people say everything organic is expensive, but personally uh, me I, I I don't care how expensive it is like I I, uh, I I rather have it be as healthy as possible and pay as much as I need to for it as opposed to getting garbage you know that's just how I am um, so uh, coconut oil so there's that garlic garlic has powerful antifungal properties which not only attack candida but also help to maintain healthy microbiome in the digestive system this amazing herb destroys harmful bacteria while leaving healthy bacteria in place. So, um, one one of the uh, chemicals that's in garlic is, uh, I believe, it doesn't say here. It's allicin. Allicin. Let me. I'll just look it up. Uh, allicin. Allicin. And garlic. Allicin. Let's see how. It's allicin. There we go. Allison spelled it wrong. So, uh, what are the health benefits of Allison? Allison is a compound produced when garlic is crushed or chopped, available in dietary supplement form. It's been found to reduce inflammation and offer antioxidant benefits. Taking Allison supplements is said to help with a number of health problems as well as fight major diseases like heart disease and cancer. So, so uh, can garlic? Oh, right here. Researchers have found that allicin is an effective natural antibiotic that can eradicate even antibiotic-resistant bugs. And it, an added benefit is that the bacteria appear incapable of developing a resistant to the compound. Wow, so that, that's really heavy because this is a natural uh, antibiotic that, that uh, uh uh, uh, antibiotic resistant bugs can't can't uh, fight off you know now doctors hand out uh, 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 antibiotics like skittles they, they you get an ear infection they give you antibiotic you, 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 a, a, any any small thing that they they hand you antibiotics and when you take antibiotics it kills all the good bacteria and uh, bad bacteria in your body so so uh, when, when uh, you, your gut starts to repopulate the bad bacteria take over and that's when it's all bad. That's when 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 you start you start getting sicker, you start the bad bacteria uh, start taking over and, and winning and, and getting getting your body in, in a, 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 a a sick a, a, a more acidic and sick state. So uh, onions, popular around the world, onions are celebrated for their strong antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasitic properties. They also help the kidneys to flush excess fluids out of the body, highly beneficial for candida sufferers who experience water retention. So onions, onions are really good. And uh, I, I, I only recommend uh, the, the red onions because the red onions have more uh, different types of minerals and, and they're, better, they're better for you. Any, anything with color, anything with uh, colors, it, it's, it's uh, got different minerals and it's healthier for you. And uh, so, uh, don't get the white onions. The white onions suck, <laughs> basically. Seaweed. Uh, seaweed is a nutrient dense superfood known for its powerful healing properties. It's particularly recommended in helping your body to fight candida. Seaweed is a rich source of iodine, which helps to balance thyroid hormones 
and the impact they have on your metabolism so seaweed this is uh this is like a questionable one for me because just because man um uh, fukushima fukushima first of all everything like i said everything in this world is is fucked everything is messed up <laughs> fukushima uh radiation uh nuclear power plant so if you guys remember Fukushima, uh, uh, there was an earthquake in Fukushima, and it, it, it's uh, uh, it started leaking radiation into the ocean. Fukushima radiation leak. Bam! Right there. Look. So the oceans are through, but especially because we're over here, we're over here on this side. So Fukushima's right here. Bam! It's just so the whole Pacific Ocean is through, uh, and and. and Th this you, you don't see this on our mainstream media it's still leaking radiation to this day right now as we speak it's still leaking radiation so you got all these things happening this, this radiation the, the oceans through the, the oceans done for the, then you got the, the the coronavirus oh man there's gonna be pure hell coming upon the world so uh you know hey there's don't just leave it at that now rutabagas rutabagas um uh, Although it's not well known in Western countries, rutabaga is one of the most potent antifungal vegetables on Earth. It's technically a starch, but its ab ability to kill off fungal overgrowth makes up for it. So rutabaga is a is like a, a root. It's like a, a, a I'll just look it up. It's it's it's, it's it tastes really good. I like it. Um, rutabaga, rutabaga, <laughs> rutabaga. Yeah, see, it looks like this. So you go to the store, buy some of these rutabagas, and I, I, uh, I, I uh, put them through the the, make them like hash browns, and they're really good. It's, I mean, if you like spicy food, uh, you're gonna like uh, uh, rutabagas. Um, so, uh, ginger, ginger, a well-known anti-inflammatory, ginger has long been used in traditional medicine for treating an enormous variety of ailments. It has a detoxifying effect on the body due to its ability to increase circulation and can help. I'm sorry, and can also help the liver perform more efficiently in flushing out toxins. So, uh, yeah, ginger, anti-inflammatory, uh, good, good to use in tea. You know, uh, right here, uh, ingredients: one square inch piece of fresh ginger, some lemon, two cups of water. Uh, uh, if you if you heat up the yeah, cut off the outside of the root of ginger then grate it and add a boiling water boil for 20 minutes strain and serve with a slice of lemon uh yeah lemon is really good for uh detoxing the body too it, it uh when you when you eat it, it it actually alkalinizes your body so uh it gets rid of excess uh, uh acid in the body another good uh anti-acidic is uh um uh, that's right it's right on the tip of my tongue uh baking soda baking soda uh baking soda is really good there's actually a baking soda detox like the epsom salt detox you know you you uh you get a 32 uh ounce ounces of water you you put a, a tablespoon of baking soda and you drink it and that's i'll i might uh, i might do a video on it uh, uh later on um uh, so sometime uh um, but uh yeah so olive oil olive olive oil this is something nearly everyone has in their kitchen cupboard but it's not just good for cooking olive oil contains a powerful chemical called ole oleoropein it has powerful antifungal properties that has been shown to stimulate your immune system's own response to effectively fight off candida albicans over so yeah this is all about candida uh, albicans but th this applies to your your whole immune system because all these foods it's not just for candida it's for strengthening your immune system so uh <coughs> what else lemon lemon and lime we already went over that pumpkin seeds uh th this uh, i don't really uh, i just eat, get like random uh, like mixed nuts th there's if you actually if you go to target they have a, a brand um uh, i actually have it right here let me uh, grab it see what the brand is 
Um, right here. It's uh, it's called Archer Farms Raw Mixed Nuts. See if I can look it up just for uh, so you guys can see it. Uh, Archer Farms Raw Mixed Nuts. Yep, this one right here. And so these, they sell these at uh, at, um, at uh, Target for like twelve bucks. You get all these. So th th I'm, I mainly eat these, and I get the raw ones because the raw the raw mixed nuts they have the oils, they have the oils in them. Uh, they're not uh, toasted, so when you toast it, it, you lose all the beneficial oils from uh, from from the uh, nuts. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to eat some, <laughs> just because I grabbed it. Mm. So, uh, so, pumpkin seeds, uh, I don't know, it's not really something I worry about. I just get, like, those nuts just to have, have, uh, like, something to snack on. Cayenne pepper. Mm. So, cayenne pepper is a little-known antifungal solution that naturally speeds digestion and supports the immune system. Cayenne helps in the breakdown of food in the gut and speeds up bowel transit time, which reduces the incidence of constipation. Yeah, so you take cayenne pepper. I use, I actually use, <laughs> I actually use uh, the Carolina Reaper. I go deep. I go <laughs> Carolina Reaper. Mm, pepper. So I get these like when I, I make. Uh, if you guys seen my video, I, when I make um, uh, lentils, lentil uh, soup, and uh, I put one of these in there. Um, hold up, let me just do something real quick. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Um, yeah, um, so, yeah, the, the, because I mentioned the, uh, lamb, the lamb soup, or lentil soup, so right. this is how so I make it. I wasn't it. really, um, going to, uh, make Um, so, uh, right here, I go into, yeah, if you watch this, I go into the capsaicin, the benefits of capsaicin. Uh, I use, uh, I use a lot of stuff. I use, uh, quinoa, a lamb. Um, and, oh man, it's so good, I, <laughs> I, I don't have any, I'm gonna make some, I'll make some later, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, the uh, you know, lentils, lamb is really healthy for you. Lamb is one of the healthiest meats you could even eat. Um, it's, uh, really healthy for you, actually. It's got a lot of, uh, uh, um, omega-3s, I mean, omega, omega, omega uh, yeah, omega-3s. Uh, um, which are anti-inflammatory as opposed to omega-6 omega-6s are, are in oh that's another that's a whole that's like another video so like uh, all the uh, uh, all the food like all, all the meat nowadays uh, is uh, cows uh, are fed uh, grain which their body isn't made to digest grain the cows are only made to eat, uh, eat grass that's how they were intended. That's the way God intended them to do to eat. Their their body isn't designed to eat grain. So uh, w when uh, they feed them all these garbage uh, food, they uh, they feed them the, the mo first of all it's the Monsanto corn that they grow this corn and they feed them to these cows. Th their body starts getting sick. They get cancer. They get all these sicknesses because all these uh, Monsanto's corn is is just. Uh, uh, just chemicals killing killing them the cows slowly and it creates a more uh, um, omega-6 as opposed to omega-3s omega-3s are the healthy fats as opposed to omega-6s so um, oh that's a whole nother video I'm like man I, there's just so much stuff to talk about but um, yeah so that's lamb uh, lamb soup uh, that I, I, I talk about that I make um, what else samurai cider uh, so another like good boosting, uh, um, um, good boosting uh, to boost your immune system, which would I use? So I use this is a tincture that I make. Um, I use the red onions, the uh, 
the ginger. Um, there's uh, uh, what's it called? Oh man, turmeric. Um, um, this uh, uh, um, man. Sometimes, sometimes my brain I don't, I don't understand. Um, garlic, and then another one, another uh, item I would put in there is uh, is uh, what you call it, uh, horseradish root, which horseradish root is really good, really good for boosting your immune system. So here, what I did is, I basically put all this in the blender. I put it uh, with the vinegar. See, I got vinegar right here. I basically just blended everything. See, it's all it's all going in there. No, three, three so far in there, and I'm gonna add another one. And I'm just filling it. I'm filling it. These are bottles of uh, vinegar. So I left this for about almost three weeks. So all the nutrients are gonna be absorbed into the vinegar, and that creates a tincture. That creates a tincture that's gonna super boost your immune system. Uh, what else do I got? What else? What else? What else? Um, juice, juice cleanse. Um, aloe vera. Uh, uh, Making aloe vera juice. Like there, there's just stuff. There's so much information on here. Just uh, I, I like look, look into it. Um, kombucha. I gotta make another kombucha video. Oh man, so much stuff I want to do, but. Um, all right, so back to uh, what I was talking about. I'm play some, uh, play some music. Um, just gonna play some piano, uh, just cause just to relax. <laughs> So, uh, where was I? Cayenne pepper. Alright, so cayenne pepper, I already talked about that. Which cayenne pepper actually, uh, uh, if you make a tincture of, of, of cayenne pepper, it could actually prevent a heart attack when you're going through a heart attack because it, it uh, helps with cir circulatory. Yep, not surprising, cayenne is an excellent circul circulatory booster, which makes it a good option for enhancing the delivery of nutrients for extremities. It also speeds the metabolism, providing an energy boost that helps to combat candida-related fatigue. So, actually, if you have, um, if you're having a heart attack and you have this, like a tincture, and you take it, it'll actually prevent a heart attack. That's how, that's how powerful uh, cayenne pepper is. Excuse me. So, um, it's not the the cayenne pepper exactly. It's the uh, the capsaicin. The capsaicin, the chemical in in the pepper that that uh, uh, um, helps with that. So algae, algae. It's not really green slime. Algae is one of the world's superfoods, thanks to its incredibly high concentration of nutrients. It's the highest food source of natural chlorophyll, which is a powerful detoxifier. Algae also helps with gently cleansing the bowels. Oh man, algae. It's it's expensive, but. Uh, there's this thing it's called um, oh man uh, there's there's blue and green algae blue and green algae uh, yeah so all there's all these Klamath I think is the best the best brand because uh, it comes from a, a certain source in Oregon Klamath Lake you can look it up. It's uh, it's where where it's it, it, one of the few places on the planet where it grows, and spirulina. Spirulina actually it detoxes your blood. It detoxes, the, like the form, the 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 biological structure of spirulina is is the same as your blood. So the only difference between spirulina and your blood cells is that spirulina has, uh, I believe, magnesium in it, and then your blood cells have uh, uh, um, iron in the in the middle. So so I'm I'm just gonna look it up just because I haven't looked it up for a while. Um, um, spirulina, spirulina. 
a microscope, maybe? Yeah, look at and that looks dope. Look, it looks like DNA, little DNA strands. That's spirulina. Um, spirulina. Um, what's? Oh man, because there's a there's a, there's a, a, a was a slide that showed that showed the difference between your blood cells and the spirulina net, or side by side. And they were exactly the same, except they had a uh, spirulina had a. Uh, uh, magnesium in the middle and um, uh, iron I mean your blood cells had iron um, I don't know you, you can look it up um, but uh, so algae yeah cinnamon cinnamon and an aromatic spice that most people associate with sweet food cinnamon is actually a potent antifungal it's been shown to help stabilize blood sugar and prevent further spikes this makes it a useful treatment for those with diabetes yeah so diabetes is, is good for diabetics and uh, it's an antifungal. Uh, make a tea, you know, put it in tea, get that little uh, sweet uh, cinnamon flavor. Papaya seeds, papaya seeds. Um, yeah, so papaya seeds are, are anti, anti, uh, like basically like antibiotic. It's a, so the extract of papaya seeds has been shown to harbor strong antiparasitic action. Studies have found that this inhibitor, inhibitory activity is effective against candida overgrowth papaya seeds are also believed to be highly beneficial for detoxifying the body of harmful toxins as well as reducing inflammation they help to control bacteria yeast and parasitic organisms which can help to improve the digestive system turmeric yeah turmeric uh, turmeric is a real good anti-inflammatory um, inhibit the growth of the spread of candida uh, antifungal properties Fermented foods. Fermented foods. I still haven't done a video on uh, on sauerkraut. Sauerkraut kimchi um, is really good for you. Uh, I did a video on. Uh, I think I did a video on. Uh, man. Uh, I gotta stop the stop the music. Uh, go back to it um, did I do a video on it uh, no I haven't done a video on it on uh, on making kefir I haven't done a video on making kefir or kimchi or sauerkraut I'm at the man I'm at to get on it I've been slacking so uh, slacking a lot um, so I gotta get back up making these health videos but anyway uh, back to the music. Where's the music? There we go. Bone broth. Uh, you can make bone broth. Um, I recommend bone broth of uh, of uh, um, lamb. Lamb bone broth is the best bone broth. Paul Diarco tea, a proven antifungal. Paul Diarco is the best tea you can have while on the Candida diet. Paul Diarco is packed with naphtoquinones. That can kill a variety of bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. So, uh, yeah, that was it. Man, it was it was longer than I intended it to be. That was 28 minutes. Um, foods to eat. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into foods to eat because this diet. If you wanna if you wanna start getting healthy and start uh, strengthening your immune system, go to this website, CandidaDiet.com, and look up the diet, and uh, stay away from the foods. No, I should bugging out now foods to eat non-starchy vegetables low sugar fruits non glutinous grains healthy proteins some dairy products low mold nuts and seeds herbs and spices condiments healthy fats and oils sweeteners like stevia monk fruit fermented fruit which uh, the only sweetener that I use is xylitol xylitol is the best one um, but yeah that was it that was just uh, uh, almost quick video long video but uh, hopefully help somebody out um, yeah we're coming into some very perilous times <laughs> you better get on your game strengthen that gut get your immune system game up because shit's better get real out here all right peace out